Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and in this video I'm going to show you how to add images into your GitHub repositories, into the readme files there. So I have my GitHub repository here already and I have a readme file here and it looks nice, there's a lot of text here but there's no images there. I have however added one image into an images folder here inside my repo and it's just called screenshot. So just one of those things to remember important that they are part of your own repo otherwise if people clone the repo then they won't get the images so in my readme i'm going to head over to that readme file and edit it using the little pencil icon here and as soon as i do that i get into the markdown editor decide where you want to put your image so perhaps under the usage instructions here is a good idea and in order to embed an image here we have two options we can either use the markdown syntax or we can use proper html i'll show you both versions so that just you know in case you're used to one more than the other the markdown syntax begins with an exclamation mark followed by two square brackets Inside these square brackets, you could put an alt text for the image, something like screenshot or any descriptive thing, but you can completely leave it blank, followed by a standard bracket, and then just add the relative path to your image. You can use an absolute path, but I don't think that's a good idea. So let's say images screenshot.png in my case, and close the bracket. Under preview changes, that screenshot should now show up. And there it is. Very exciting. So not as difficult as it seems, but what would be even handier would, would be something like a formatting toolbar here like we have on issues or on comments or shame that that's not here really. If you can't remember this syntax, you are forgiven of course, but if you are more familiar with HTML, you can use that syntax as well. And that is just uh, angle bracket image source equals um, oops, equals again relative path to your image or absolute path if you like and that'll work just the same so whatever you prefer will work in github images and then of course commit your changes have a look at the front page of your repo and there's your screenshot perfection github will try and resize your images but if you had a specific size in mind then you can always do that with, you can specify that with the image tag, with the HTML image tag. So you can say width equals 100, for example. And if you don't specify a height, then you won't see an aspect ratio change there. So there we go, that would be like a very small image. But if you leave it, maybe put something like 300. But if you leave it without that specification, then you know that's not gonna happen. Markdown, on the other hand, won't let you do that, just so that you know. That was it. I hope you liked it. If you liked this video, then please share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Take care.